Okay, this video explains the difference between an inset and an offset. An inset is needed when you have text that is in a text frame object that has either a fill color or a stroke, and the text is sitting on the very edge of the frame. Um, so you would apply an inset to move the text away from the edge of the frame, so it makes the text easier to read. Um, so to do that, um, you know that these are um, called text frame objects. I'm going to select my um, yellow circle, and I'm going to come up to my object drop-down menu and look for my text frame options. Um, with this panel up, I've got in the second um, little pod down here, I've got inset spacing. And if you watch the yellow circle, um, while I am applying inset to this, and I'm going to make this come up to about six pixels, um, you can see that the text has moved away from the edge of the, the, the frame, which makes it easier to see. Um, I've also, uh, that's also crowded the text and given me offset text, which is okay because I'm just going to double click on the corner here and this is going to auto expand this frame. Um, so my text looks much better and I now um, don't have text sitting right up on the edge of my, my color. I'm going to do the same over here with my um, stroke line because a lot of people um, will let their text sit right up on a stroke. We don't want that. So again, object, text frame options, um, select the inset spacing, you know, be consistent and get the at a, um, six pixels, say OK, and again I've got overset text, so I'm just going to double click on that and that expands my frame. I um, apparently have a little extra frame here, so I'm going to, there we go, that, that selects that and pops that up. So that's much easier to see. Um, if I use my preview um, button on my computer, which is W on the keyboard, I um, will see what this would look like printed, and I've got a nice amount of border around the text, keeping it away either from the edge of the color or the colored stroke. Okay, back to um, working mode. Um, in this uh, example below, I'm talking about offsets. Offset is um, something that is desired when you have an object that is um, overlaying a text frame and you want the object to cause the text to push away from the frame. Um, so right now, um, how, do I, how I do that is I select the object and it is um, text wrapping that I need to apply to this object. That can be found under the window drop down menu and under text wrap. Um, I have several options when I'm creating my text wrap. Um, this says it's already um, wrapped around the object shape. Um, normally when you would come in here it would say that there was no text wrap and you can see that that just sits on top of the um, or underneath the text. Um, so I do want uh, my text wrap to go around my object shape and I see that that's not really working how I expect it to. And that can happen. Sometimes you get um, you get the program it automatically looks for those edges and sometimes you need to look under your contour options and um, decide which of these um, is uh, going to give you the result you want. Um, usually detect edges will do it and I see now that if I move my gumball machine around that the text is really um, snugging up against those um, edges and if I use W on my keyboard that looks pretty good. So that is uh, again the difference between an inset and an offset. Inset um, is using um, uses the object text frame options and offset uses the text wrapping options.